But up first today, good research is the key for ensuring a strong agricultural industry. All year long, researchers at the University of Georgia are busy researching new varieties and better techniques that farmers can use to boost their bottom line. The Monitor's Mark Wildman visited one research farm in Plains where local growers got an opportunity to see some of these research projects up close. The fields at the Southwest Georgia Research and Educational Facility in Plains were full again this year with projects geared to help the Georgia farmer. One of Georgia's major crops is cotton and the group got to see how the acreage planted here is doing and see the research UGA cotton team member Philip Roberts is conducting. Here in Plains, we're primarily looking at BT cotton technology. So, uh, we've got a, a non-BT cultivar as well as a single gene Bolgard uh, and the two gene BT cottons, Wide Strike and Bolgard 2. We have this trial broke into half where we're treating half the trial for caterpillar pests such as corn earworm and the other half we've left completely untreated. We do know the you know, with the BT technologies, uh, they're, they're very good technologies, and the two gene BT cottons, Wide Strike and Bolgar 2, are even better than the single gene that we planted since 1996. But uh, as we move to these technologies, and I think our growers will continue to plant BT cottons, uh, we just have to understand some of the nuances associated with, ha with how they impact these insect populations. From there, they moved over to the peanut research plots where they heard about some new varieties of peanuts that are designed to be disease resistant and to boost yields for the producer. One of the trials that I have here at Plains, in fact the main trial I have here is a, a study that I'm working in cooperation with Dr. Scott Tubbs, our cropping systems agronomist and research, is looking at evaluating all these new cultivars to uh, the row patterns, twin and single row, and at two different seeding rates, five versus six seed per foot of row. You know, we've been recommending six seed per foot of row for a number of years to keep our populations up to help reduce risk of spotted wilt virus. Uh, but now, these new cultivars have such high levels of resistance to spotted wilt virus, we're looking at lowering the seeding rate back down to closer to five seed per foot of row. Uh, most of these new cultivars are larger seeded. Uh, when you plant them at the six seed per foot of row rate, you're probably planting about 30 pounds per acre more seed than compared to those standard Georgia green. And if we can lower that back down to five on these large seeded runners, we'll put in about 10 pounds of the Georgia Green seeding rate. And it saves the growers money, probably $15, $20 per acre at least, on their seeding cost without impacting their yield potential. Along with research, he teaches at UGA's Tifton campus. And on this day, he had the opportunity to bring some students along to get an up-close look at the crops. Getting out here in the field and seeing the different crops and stuff that the University of Georgia is working with, it's, it's a really beneficial for me because I'm still unsure where I'm going to take uh, my career after I graduate. And it gets me a chance to learn more about each individual cash crop here grown here in Georgia. The students would a lot rather be out here listening to a lot of speakers talk about a lot of things related to crop production as opposed to sitting in the classroom. They enjoy it. And so that's a great thing about our location is that we can, in a relatively short distance, take them to field days and they enjoy it. And plus, when they enjoy it, they learn a lot. It has been a hot, dry summer around Georgia this year, and research facilities like this one here in Plains help producers see how the crops are going to perform in their region. When we are conducting these trials, you know, the end goal is always to in, improve profitability, improve sustainability of the cotton industry in Georgia. But having these locations in various areas across the state allow us to address perhaps, let's say, more local needs. Uh, you know, we have stations where I've got work uh, on cotton this year in Midville as well as in Plains and even down in Atapulgas. So, uh, you, you got a lot of different environments where, where cotton is grown, so, uh, you know, there, there's no question that, that, that I believe it does return greatly to our growers. As crops around the state are harvested this year, farmers and consumers need to pause and thank the research teams that are hard at work to keep Georgia's ag industry strong. In Plains, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.